This is Star Wars The Clone Wars Savage Opress, the armored version. It is figure number CW59 or CW59. And the figure is part of the sixth wave of the new 2011 Clone Wars action figures. Pretty cool box art right there. Uh, here's the back of the packaging and the rest of the wave. Okay. And as always, the figure is a galactic battle game figure. As such, it comes with a base, a die, and a galactic battle game card. Cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Very, very awesome. Really, really itching to get this one. Uh, ever since I saw him in that uh, Savage Press, the Night Sisters arc, I and and we were given pictures of of uh, of the action figure that Hasbro was making. I had my eyes set on this. I'm getting this figure, and I thank God it was. I got it on retail. Didn't have to worry about getting it online. Anyway, uh, it's a beautiful figure. Uh, I've never seen a fantastic, magnificent figure. Too many superlatives to just really describe how awesome this figure is. If you haven't gotten this figure yet, by all means, track one down. Uh, if you have to get one figure that, that appeared in, the, in, in Series 3 of the Clone Wars figure, uh, of the Clone Wars series, uh, Season 3, sorry, not Series 3, Season 3 uh, of the show, this has got to be the figure you get if you just get, won't have to get one figure. Very, very nice. Uh, let me give you a good 360 of this guy. Really, really nice. He comes with his double-bladed lightsaber which uh, we will see again, uh, which we've, we were already uh, privy to in, uh, when we saw Darth Maul wield it in The Phantom Menace. And uh, I don't have Darth Maul with me right now. Yeah, because he's not going to be in scale anyway. So, very cool. Um, On to the figure itself. Uh, they've actually done a lot of retooling, recycling and retooling with this figure. Here is the first version. They've recycled a bunch of parts. Curse you, Hasbro! You lazy bums. Can't you just make... Oh, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. At least we got the both versions. Um, here they are. Um, let me try and get rid of this guy on the base so you can see. Him. He also comes with the, uh, the mace or staff that this... The figure came with so it's exactly the same uh, weapon that when you push it uh, okay I just lost that missile uh, yeah, yeah anyway um, so it's exactly the same uh, weapon that you get with this guy so uh, really no use in putting it with him also um, the hands he's not a lefty I know Darth Maul Darth uh, not Darth a Savage Press um, I think in, on the show, you usually holds his weapons with his right hand, but uh, the mold... Sorry, I'm hitting things left and right. Um, this left hand has the tightest grip. The right hand can barely hold anything. Um, okay. Uh, that's not really holding it. Okay, there we go. Uh, he can't hold it. Even the... Uh, the uh, okay. Uh, th that's just making me look bad. Okay. All right, there you go. See? He can't hold anything. He can probably hold it for a second or two or three or four. Ugh. I swear to you, I, I, I swear he could not hold that. Just before filming this video, for the life of me, he, he could not hold that weapon. I don't understand why he can hold it right now. But anyway, it's... Uh, okay, there you go. You get the idea. This hand cannot hold squat. Well, anyway, uh, so much less this lightsaber. He... Okay. Um, he could not hold that. I don't know why he can hold it now, but when I opened him from packaging, he could not hold this lightsaber with his right hand. Curse you! <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Yeah, he's looking at me funny. I can hold it. I can hold it. Anyway. Okay, so he's back to being a right-handed guy. So, um, before this video gets totally out of control, thanks to you, uh, 
He comes well sculpted with some shoulder pads that are removable. These things just fell off when I took him out of the packaging because he was just packed in so tightly. Uh, he he's got some he's got some recycled bits from the old version. Uh, the legs are recycled. This uh, part of the kema is recycled. The belt as well as the belly and whatnot. They've changed the uh, soft rubbery plastic into soft. Uh, to some soft goods material. He obviously has some armor right now. The head sculpt is completely different, as you can see. This one is like, <laughs> this one is like, I'm going to be in Twilight. I got to practice being Edward. I love you, Bella. Anyway, uh, so he's contemplative, and then uh, he's uh, snickering right there. Uh, the hands are new. Uh, the although the uh, the forearms I think are recycled, new biceps and shoulders, uh, feet are still the same. So just repainted. A lot of recycled torso is obviously new. So a lot of recycled, a lot of new parts. So very very cool. Again with his lightsaber, it's a very nice rendition of uh, Savage Oppress's lightsaber. Very very cool. I wish the blades were a little bit longer. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, in, in, in the show, I'm not sure if they were really intentionally short, but I, I would have preferred them to be just a tad bit longer, um, just so for, for better effect. But uh, anyway, um, we'll just stand him up now. Uh, but anyway, that, that's his lightsaber. I'm getting in a good standing pose. So pretty cool. Uh, if you have to choose, obviously get this one. But I'm sure with this one, if this one comes out on retail in your area, I'm sure this one is going to be a peg warmer somewhere because he comes packaged again, I think in Wave 5 and in Wave 6. So you, you have a ton of these, and I, unless there are a lot of scalpers around. But it's, it's okay to get both uh, because both figures are just fantastic. If you have to get one or two figures uh, from the entire se that, that appeared in season three these are two you want you want to uh, choose from so very very nice uh, uh, recommendations definitely just just go ahead and get this one sorry his his kema is just flying all over the place this soft rubbery good soft rubbery goods soft rubbery material it, it's just it's supposed to be flat but i, I posed him in a very uh, awkward stand so it's flying out uh, just for size comparison, here he is with uh, the Dooku that cannot stand up, so I've put him on a base. He's obviously much taller, towering over the uh, Sith Lord Count Dooku that trains him. Savage, you are still very... You are so stupid, you cannot master the Force. And finally, the Night Sister, which, whatever... Um, Asajj Ventress, so pretty awesome figures. Uh, if you can find all these on retail, it would be a wonderful display on your shelf. Uh, if, if you, especially if you loved that whole Night Sisters arc, Asajj Ventress slash Night Sisters arc. I love that 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 uh, series of episodes, and uh, could not wait to get my hands on on these Asajj Press figures. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it uh, insightful in some way. Uh, if you want to know my latest toy purchases and upcoming reviews, please follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash fxfrans. There you go, folks. The Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the armored version of Savage Oppress. Thanks for watching.